Hey you guys, welcome back to Audit Rewind. This is your host commentator and I'm ready to absolutely dive into some epic audit videos in today's episode. Before we do that though, drop a like on today's video and subscribe if you are new. I just wanted to give a quick shout out to another fellow auditing channel. This channel is called Audit Army. I will leave a link down below in the description. Go subscribe to them, show them some love. Well, in today's video we have an epic lineup starting with a highlight from Good Guy Audits. Well, to begin with, Good Guy was just going around filming some lampposts. He was filming some buildings, some traffic, and then he noticed some squad cars pulled up to the side of the road. So, Good Guy Audits went over and started taking some video of the squad cars. Well, it wasn't long before he got the attention of two rather triggered officers. Let's watch this together and then react and see what happens. You guys been out already? Yeah, because you're looking into the car. Okay. Can you help with something, bro? No, I'm okay. All right. You, you don't got anything better to do on Father's Day than to do this? Do what? Whatever it is that you're doing over here next to the car. You don't know what I'm doing? No, you're just out here with your phone. That's what I'm asking you. What are you doing? Oh, recording? All right. Yeah. Go ahead. Fine by me. You guys will record too? Record all you want. That's why we pay for those. Who? What? That's why the city pays for those, yeah. so that you can use them. Right, correct. Yeah, I don't have no problem with it. Can I finish what I was doing? You can't record what's inside of the car. Why not? Listen, I don't know if you're bored, because obviously you're recording us. Are you bored? All right, have a good day, sir. Why are you lying to me? Have a good day, sir. Have a good day. Thank you, you too. Sir, you cannot record what's inside of the car. If you want to talk about things that people can't do, you can't block my camera. Okay, well, then you'll be I'm going to stand in front right. of the you car. Stand wherever you want. You can't just record what's inside movement, of the, okay? the police car. Just don't block my movement, okay? Because then you'll Proceed. be detaining me. Proceed. Are you detaining me? You can't record what's inside of the car. Why not? Because you cannot. Be Why not? You're not you being detained. Record. You're free to go. Why can't I record what's inside because the car? Because you cannot record what's inside Why? of the car. Why? Is it a crime? You must be bored. Is it a crime? You must be bored. Is it a crime? You must be bored. Is it a crime to record inside the car? It's a police vehicle. Yes, that's why it's tinted. Can you tell me what the crime is so I can look it up? You look it up. So we're halfway through this audit and already I can tell that these officers are very inexperienced and clearly don't know about freedom of press and the First Amendment. This officer claimed that the reason the windows are tinted is because there could be sensitive things inside. Well, this was where Sean would reply saying, well, it's a plain view. Obviously, Sean from Long Island Audit is very, very up to date with the laws. I think Good Guy Audits knows the laws, but he just seems to be playing a bit dumb because you have to, let, without being horrible, you have to talk to people on their level. You can't start quoting laws and things. If these officers are brand new on the job or they don't really have a clue what they're doing, then you can't start being clever with them as they may get annoyed or just think you're talking Chinese or something that they can't understand. In this case, the female cop seems to be stood in the way of the window and at one point even put her hand in the way of the camera lens as good guy stepped forward closer towards the window. Let's see what happens in part two as this just escalated to a whole new level. Misdemeanor or felony? You look it up, and if it's a crime, why I'm not in handcuffs? Because it's much. not a crime. You're doing, You're doing too much by lying to me. Okay, you think well, I don't know that I can? Look it up. You think I don't know that I can look and record inside okay. of a city vehicle? Sure, that's why it's tinted. that is tax funded. Right. I can't record a tax funded vehicle, sure, sir. city property that my taxes go to fund. You're crazy. Excuse me. Sir. Why are you touching me? me? Why are you touching me? Am I detained? As soon as you touch me, I'm detained. Why are you touching me? You cannot record what's inside of the car. Why are you car? touching That's me and moving me? Let me get your card. Okay, no problem. Excuse me. Stop blocking my movement. No Sanchez. one's blocking your movement. You are. You're Everywhere I walk, you're cutting in front of me. And touch me for what? She says she want to go to the other side. I speak Spanish. Have a good day. Here's my card, by the way. Thank you. you stop touching it, people. Right? Yeah, stop no touching people. Touching you just touch me for no, no lawful reason. 
Why'd you touch me for? I don't know if you're trying to get a quick I know lawsuit, I look, but I know I look good, but you if you think I'm trying to get a quick you lawsuit, why would you touch me have a good day, unlawfully? Sir. Have a good day, sir. You don't know the law? Have a good day, sir. You don't know the plain view doctrine that have I can be called day, advocacy sir. in public? Sure. Have a good day, you feel like sir. lying to me? You don't have to lie to me. You need to study the law. Learn the First Amendment. Sad. This video screams unprofessionalism from the police. Good Guy Audits did actually mention the Plain View Doctrine at the end, which was fantastic. I was literally just praying for him to mention that. I think it took too long for him to mention that. And to be fair, the officer probably had no idea what that even meant. So then, there's probably no point in even mentioning it for her case, but obviously for the record, his camera filming and their body cams, if things were taken further, as it seemed like that officer was ready to defend those windows to, well, to the point of arresting the guy. She even put her mask on and seemed like she was getting ready to get serious. But after all this, these cops wouldn't quote any laws. They wouldn't really say anything of substance. They just seem to be getting quite immature and unprofessional just because a guy is filming their car. This is possibly the worst way you can respond if you are law enforcement, as it just looks so tacky and immature, kind of like you are just not liking people who are filming. Okay, you have to know the law. It's not about preference or what you like or don't like. It's what's the law. Simple. Go check out Good Guy Audits and let's get into our next one. What's going on, you guys? Hey, what's up? Now some of you may have seen this audit as I believe it came out quite a while ago, it's extremely interesting. Now we have some epic audits coming up so stay tuned or if you have seen this then just skip it. But I did actually want to react to it and do some live commentary as well because this guy owns the cops quite literally. So this video was uploaded by J-Dub Audits and it shows where he was actually having a bit of music playing in his house uh, in the evening. And apparently he got some noise complaints from neighbours and people living nearby. So these two officers attended the scene. They uh, did identify themselves, which was good. But J-Dub Audit said, okay, I'll turn the music down. And the cops said, if we have to return, then we may have to, you know, take things further. Possibly even, uh, you know, report you, arrest you, or, you know, get your details. Well... It actually all takes a turn for the worst halfway through this video and I'm not going to tell you what happens because I don't want to ruin it. When I used to do these commentaries I would ruin it for you guys at the beginning. So take a look and see what happens. What's going on you guys? Hey, what's up? So you got noise complaint. Okay. You guys got to turn it down. Okay, cool. You got your driver's license just so we can talk with you? I don't need to give you that. What's up? I don't need to give you that, ma'am. Okay. Think if we have to return back, mm -hmm. there could be a fine issued to you okay. as part of the Signal Hill Municipal Code. Okay. So that's why I need to identify who I'm talking with today. Okay. Well, I'm not the owner, and yeah, I know you're asleep it's right a now. rental, right? You guys are like renting a spot. Um, it's not a big deal, dude. We have to identify. Who we'll turn are. it down. Thank you, guys. We have to identify who you are. Who are you, who are you guys? Officer What's Kennedy, your name? Officer Agaral, the Signal Hill Police Department. What was that? Officer Kenny, and this is Officer Agaba with the Signal Hill Police Department. Okay. Okay. So Badge we, numbers? 163 and 159. Okay. Okay. We need your ID to know who we're talking to. I don't have one. Okay. What's your last name? I don't need to give you that. Yes, you do. Yes, here we are. We're at the halfway mark, and this is where the real audit starts. J-Dub is trying to stay calm, he said that he agreed to turn the music down, and yes, if they have to come back then things will be taken further, because J-Dub isn't stupid, he's going to turn the music down, and that will mean that the police do not have to come back. But now the male officer seems to be pushing for an ID. In this case, J-Dub knows that he doesn't need to produce the ID. The female cop sounds a bit silent at this point. I don't know whether she disagrees with her colleague or knows the law a bit better than him. I should hope so. But in this case, it's very, very awkward. Let's take a look at part two and see what happens next as they're forcing this man to give his ID stood on his own doorstep over a noise complaint. I don't need to give you that. Yes, you do. If this is a noise complaint, I'm just gonna, we're gonna turn it down and we're gonna have a good day. Okay, 
I don't think you're understanding what we're saying. Okay, we're doing our job, mm -hmm. right? I need to identify who I'm talking to. That's all we have to do. I don't have to answer. Yeah, I'm with the resident code for. Okay, I don't know why you're giving us such an uh, an issue. I, I I'm just saying I'm gonna, I'm helping you guys. We're gonna turn it down. No, you're not. Helping no, yeah, us. we are. You're not helping. Me we didn't call you guys. Okay, I know, that's not it how. Was a complaint. I understand, and I'm telling you, we're gonna turn it down, right? Okay. So we're just trying to figure out what's going on. I need to know who I'm talking to. You can call me good citizen. Okay. You watch too much YouTube, dude. You watch too much TikTok. All right. Okay. We did not call you. Doesn't matter. You, someone else called us. And we're letting you, should, you know. You should. You should look up. 415 PC of the California Penal Code. Yes, sir, I will. Piece. Thank okay. you. You're committing a crime, okay? You understand if your neighbors wanted to arrest it, you are, I could arrest you right now? Okay, they want you to turn the volume down, okay? You understand that? And we will. Okay. Thank you. You have a good day. Good night. Yep. I think J-Dub did the right thing here by simply ignoring the stupid requests. Most cops won't really make much sense, and when they try to get ID, yet they have no power, they will try and pretend they have power. If you're not being detained or arrested, or suspected of committing a crime, then just like J-Dub, you could probably wiggle your way out of it as long as you know what you're doing and you're very confident. In this case, J-Dub shut the door on the cops and that was the end of it, with the male officer realising he lost all authority in this interaction. I think initially this lady led the way, starting with the opener of the conversation and it was going very very well, it was peaceful, respectful, but then the guy decided to force ID. I guess it's just the robotic training they get at police academy, but in this case they came up against the guy who knows his rights. Go check out JDub audits, the link will be down below with the others featured here today, and let's get into our next few uploads. Alright, how about you? Well you guys up next we have an audit from Bay Area Transparency. Now this guy was doing an audit out on a nice beautiful looking day and he was actually uh, well shall we say pulled over quote unquote and uh, the officer here the female officer wanted to have a little chat with him as to why he is filming. Now initially I don't know what the point of contact was, I don't know if someone complained about him, called the police on him, or if she was just driving through doing a patrol and he caught her attention, but this officer pulls over at the side of the road and tries to have a friendly chat as they say to get some details. She basically wants to know his name, his address and why he's filming, the usual questions. Let's see how Bay Area Transparency deals with this as towards the end there's a bit of a plot twist and it's not really a great thing, let me put it that way. Alright, how about you? Good. Have your name and badge number please? Yeah, it's Officer Gris, 961641. Is Officer there a reason Gris. why you're recording there, please? Yeah, I'm gathering content for a story. What kind of story? A uh, personal story. What's up? It doesn't matter. Okay. Is there something we can help you with or help answer any questions for you? Nothing at all. Thank okay. you very much. Okay. Are you able to give me your information just so I know who I'm talking to? Uh, negative. You can call me Good Citizen. What is it? Good Citizen is what you can call me. Okay. Is there, is there any reason I can't know why you're... Am I being detained? I'm just talking to you, man. And I'm asking you a question and you need to answer me. I am a public citizen, private citizen, you're a public servant. Yes, I am. Am I being detained? Right now you are not. I'm oh, okay. Thank you very much. See you later. It's not consensual. I'm out here working. I don't wish to be disturbed. Okay. So, you are dismissed. Take care. What's up, dude? Everything good? Yeah, I'm good. How about you? I'm good. I'm just... saw the cameras and stuff that you're out here filming, so we're just making sure everything's cool. Can I have your name and badge number, please? Nope. You got your ID on you? Uh, you have to give me your name and badge number, sir. Oh, it's well, in your policy. On, let, let me talk real quick. Uh, you have ID on I'm you? Ask, identify yourself to me first. Okay, I'm, I'm a Mr. private Michelle, citizen. Uh, well, if you're going to talk okay, over you're me, a public I'm servant. Talk. I'm just I'm just letting you know. So, I'm being respectful. Can, can I talk? You can now. Okay, I'm Officer Machado, uh, badge, badge number, number 1682. Cool. Uh, everything good with you? I'm good. Okay, do you got ID? Uh-huh. Do you have ID? Am I being detained? No. Okay. I'm just asking you a question. Then I don't have ID. Cool. All right. As long as you're good, as long as you're good, not running in the lot or anything, we're good. Okay. Thank you for your professionalism. I appreciate it. No problem, sir. Okay, you guys. So the thing I can't understand here is the fact that this 
lady dealt with the guy already. Bay Area Transparency made it clear he was exercising his rights. First Amendment, freedom of press. And then uh, the female officer basically said, yeah, uh, this is all consensual chat. We're not detaining you. Uh, so the guy just walked off. Well, a minute later, Bay Area went back to filming and doing some photographs. And a male cop turns up and just does the same thing all over again i mean this is brain numbing i mean what's going on here did she not just explain what was happening did the male cop think that somehow he'd be better at dealing with the situation to begin with i think he entered the whole thing really really aggressively and forcefully by talking over the auditor and also by not even identify himself when he was first asked. Now he did eventually identify himself, only once Bay Area Transparency took authority of the conversation, which I might add was pretty impressive because that male cop was triggered halfway through this freak out. I mean, it's insane. Uh, comment down below your opinions and let's get into our next highlight. Hey, hey sir, how you doing? Doing well, how are you? Well, up next, we have a video by at Mello, where he schools a detective. Now, the really annoying thing about this audit is the fact that Mello is sat in his car. He's just come out of his apartment and a detective basically comes up to him and asks him a bunch of questions. Like, literally, this is like 21 questions. And the detective is being really intrusive, I think, in my opinion, because he is trying to act like Mello is some kind of severe criminal or boss of some network. And Mello is literally just going about his daily business. Now, I think Mello noticed that the detective was coming up to him. So he got the camera rolling and propped it down, I think, on the center console or it might be the passenger seat by the looks of it. But the detective was basically trying to ask Mello for his ID and his address. But Mello knew his rights, stay calm and respectful. And at parts, this detective kept pushing and pushing, answering the same question, sorry, asking the same question over and over again. Take a look. Hey, hey sir, how you doing? Doing well, how are you? Hey, good. Hey, do you live here? I do, yes. Okay, where do you live at? In this apartment right here. Oh, okay. You got ID on you? No, I don't. You don't have ID? Well, I do have an ID if I don't have to show it to you. You don't have ID on you? I do have an ID. Okay. Do I have to show it to you? You don't have to. Is this yeah. your car? Yes, it is. Okay. Is there a problem? What building do you live in? This building right here. What's the address? I don't have to show you. I don't have to tell you the address. What's that? Do I need to tell you the address? Yeah, what's the address? Why do I need to tell you my address? No, I'm asking you what the address is. But why do I need to tell you that? Because I'm asking you. But is there a reason why you're asking me? Because I want to know if you live here, because if you don't live here... I just told you I do live here. Right, but if you don't know the address, it doesn't but look I, like to me I like do. you live here, okay? And why I'm is that? Honest with you. Why is that? Whose vehicle is this? This is my vehicle. Is it in your name? It's in my mom's name, it's in my okay. name also. Okay, how long have you lived in this area? Do I have to tell you that? I'm just asking you a question. Okay, but why are you asking me these questions? Do you live here or not, sir? I already told you, I do live here. Okay, because if you don't live here, you're trespassing. I know that, and I told you, I live here. Okay, so it's... what's the address that you live at? Why do I have to tell you that? Because I don't believe you live here, sir. And why don't you believe me? Why don't you believe I live here? Because you don't know the address. I already told you, I do know the address. Okay, what's the address that you live here? I don't have to tell you that. Okay. Right, can I have your name and badge number? You can. Uh, Detective Bush, and my badge number is uh, 4077. Okay, thank you. So do you have an ID on you or not? I do, I already told you, I do have an ID. Okay. Well, what's your name? I don't have to tell you that. Am I being detained or am I free to go? You're free to go, sir. Thank you. You have a good day. You too. Thank you. Now this video did annoy a lot of people as I've seen this was posted to TikTok as well. A lot of people were so confused why Mello didn't ask if he was being detained earlier. But let's be honest here you guys, the video is only like a couple of minutes long at most. So in this case I think Mello did the right thing. He asked through this video, why are you asking me these questions? Because listen, if a detective is trying to ask someone questions, then surely it means they either have reasonable suspicion 
or evidence that they are partaking in or have committed a crime. Well, the thing is, the detective doesn't even mention why he's questioning Mello. He literally just goes up to him and starts asking a bunch of really personal questions like, who are you? Who's the car registered to? Where do you live? Have you lived here since birth? How long have you lived here? I mean, it's one question after another. You know, what, what, how tall are you? How big are your feet? Like, uh, what colour is your hair inside your... Like, what, what is going on, guys? This is insane. I mean, uh, is, am I missing something here? Is Melo like the head boss of some network or something? <laughs> it, what is this detective playing at? Like, it just doesn't make sense. And after all this, Melo asks the important question, am I being detained? Voila, no you're not. Goodbye. Now this next audit is particularly special to me as it was actually sent in by one of my subscribers. If you are a subscriber and you have audit videos, please don't hesitate to send them in, as I will feature them as long as there's no violence in them or anything, you know, against YouTube policy. In this case, we have one sent in by at 0 Now, I should probably chat with the person and see if they're going to change their name, but the link will be down below to this channel. Please go and subscribe as they told me over email that they plan to start doing some more audits in the future. And uh, this particular video I'm going to be featuring is... Should we just call him? I'll call. I'll call him Zero. Okay, we'll call him Zero. Zero schools the cops in this video because Zero, I think, actually mentioned this was their first audit. And if anyone has ever done a first audit, you know how nerve-wracking it can be. Like you can practice in the mirror, you can remember all your rights and the law, but usually when it comes to standing in front of those officers, you'll crumble. Like that's completely normal and natural. But Zero doesn't actually do that. And there's a whole bunch of noise from the road to begin with, but it does quieten down, and this audit gets very interesting halfway through. Take a look. Howdy, y'all. I'm okay, how are y'all? Pretty good. Yeah? Good. What are you doing today? No, Max, what are y'all doing? Do I need to ID myself? I mean, I'm, I'm asking you. No, 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 I'd rather not. No. I mean, I'm not doing anything. I mean, I just, there's an event going on. You know, so, like, you know, I was just standing here. I, watch. I was listening to them earlier. They had some good stories going on and stuff. I thought that was really cool. And I'm just looking at the cars you're, and stuff. You're not necessarily doing anything yeah. wrong. So, I don't want you thinking, like, we're here because you're a problem or anything. It's just, yeah, 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 yeah. You have a sword there. So sure, sure. I understand. Some, yeah. Somebody called in so right, you got to call. You have to come and ask. Yeah. I, I understand. Yeah, absolutely. So in this particular audit, we're now halfway through. Zero has been attending an event and actually taking some video and photographs. Again, well within his rights. But there is something the officer points out here that Zero has a sword. I don't know whether that is a religious sword or whether it is a display sword or it could even be one for self-defense as in the United States they have the right to bear arms and self-defense. In the UK it's a lot different as we have very limited rights and in this case Zero is exercising those rights which I fully respect. Now one thing to point out here is the officer seems like so set on getting the ID but when Zero asks him am I obliged to give the ID do I need to give it the officer kind of like takes a step back and he puts his notepad away and gets a bit more relaxed again so I'm interested to see what actually happens next in part two as I it seems like Zero simply asking the question of do I need to give my ID has kind of just put the officer off even pushing any further which I guess is kind of a good thing um, if the officer's not going to violate his rights 
does this officer want to speak with me too, or? I mean, she's uh, a supervisor, but she was. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. We got dispatch of this, so that's. Great. I got you. Well, we yeah. Sent two people every call. He's with me, so we sent two. Calls. I got you. And, and uh, what's y'all's names? I'm Officer Williams. Williams, it's nice to meet you, Williams. Officer yeah. Griffin. Griffin, it's nice to meet you, Griffin. It's nice to meet you too. What's your name? Sergeant Wartek. Uh, I'm sorry. Sergeant Wartek. Ward Wartek. Wartek. I like that name. That's really cool. Yeah, my name is Balin, by the way, but, you know, like I said, I didn't really want to actually identify myself, but that is my first name. If, you said you know, Balin? Balin, like Balin Hay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. I hadn't heard that name before. Yeah, I know. That's why I get a lot. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, thank you all for stopping by, but, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not doing anything wrong. I mean, yeah, uh, I mean, just so you know, like, I I have been recording this whole time because I did see y'all roll up, so it's kind of my first and second so amendment yeah, going on right here. I, yeah, I hope so. Okay. Yeah, very cool. Is there yeah. anything we can do for you? Uh, no, actually, it seems like it's over. I yeah. was kind of waiting for, and they have now, I was waiting for some of these cars to move out of the way so I could see the other ones, I but, you. you know, so. Well, just do us a favor, but, keep the sword there. Yeah, as long as it, oh, yeah, I know, so, yeah, yeah. Just, just letting you know. So Absolutely, cool. If there's anything we can do for you, just let us know. Okay, cool, Th thank you guys very much. Yeah, very no cool of you guys, absolutely. And it's nice to meet all of y'all. Right, have a good day, man. Oh man, there's just something so refreshing about ending the videos on a high. Zero just handled this to almost perfection in my opinion. Uh, he was so friendly, so respectful, he wasn't even challenging in any way. Um, the way he handled it, his conversational skills, he was so, so relaxed and he wasn't, uh, he wasn't even authoritative in a sense. He was actually really just chilled back and I think these cops were probably good cops, you know, and there was a sergeant there, supervisor, and they were all just respectful of his rights. I don't know if someone maybe called the cops on him because of his sword or is someone, or the cops were just passing by again, like I said at the first audit. You can't tell, it's all speculation. I guess you could ask them, but sometimes they just won't tell you because they don't want to, you know, rep they don't want to tell you who called the cops on you because they have like a non anonymity or I don't know how you say that word, but they want to stay anonymous. Um, but yeah, you guys, go support Zero. His channel will be down below, link down below. Um, in this case, I think the audit couldn't have been handled any better, to be fair. Um, but like I said, this is definitely going to be one of the easiest audits Zero's had to do. If he continues doing them in the future, he is going to find some of those bad apples. So prepare yourselves, go sub to his channel, and maybe I'll feature some or more of his highlights in the future. Anyway, you guys, thanks for watching today's video. Drop a like, subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace out.